Bobby House. Um, I'm out of Oakland, California. I'm currently 51 years young. I've just spent the last 23 years of my life in, in prison. I'm now a permaculture designer. And so that comes from my interaction with IGP. What it meant for me to stay connected with IGP during the course of the, the COVID crisis once it swept prison, well, it wasn't actually up to me to stay connected. I can do my part and write, but uh, at the time I didn't even realize that there was, a, um, there was a means for us to be able to communicate. So what IGP's uh, pamphlets did was, first of all, gave a great boost of morale to see like, well, these people actually care about us. It doesn't, this doesn't stop because crisis comes. Once the COVID happened, uh, came about, all the other groups, and I don't mean to uh, uh, denigrate anyone else, but all the other groups, just they just pretty much pulled up and abandoned us. No one heard anything from these different groups, and these are groups that we pour our hearts out you know, in these groups, share all of our past uh, childhood traumas and different things we're dealing with. Without programs like IGP, who's going to go over and above the initial rehabilitation phases, so, you know, teaching us different levels about uh, life skills, et cetera, we're not gonna go beyond that. There's really kind of leaving a lot of people in a situation where they're reenacting their traumas over again. And one of the biggest traumas is abandonment. So a lot of persons in prison have been suffering through abandonment, through family, through, uh, you name it. IGP stepping forward to show us that we're not forgotten and making sure that there's a wraparound effect even once we get out on the other side. Again, I say to anyone who is looking to model some type of organization to help inmates incarcerated or, or dealing with the, the systemic impact in, in prison, I think uh, IGP gives a good platform of how to really uh, invest in somebody's life beyond just getting um, a quota mark to say that we've taught this person a skill set or two.